Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's coming towards you in love and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general so they will not resonate with everyone. Uh, so take what resonates for you. You can also check out your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you wanna check those out. All right, so let's jump in for Sagittarius. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Sagittarius, what can they expect in love? What can Sagittarius expect in love? Okay, we have purity, victory lap, walking away. Okay, I one more. cold shoulder interesting um bottom of the deck successful so i feel like something's happening here that it's almost like things are turning around victory is at hand success is possible however i think it is requiring some sort of walking away some sort of cleansing um there is a feeling of being shut out or distant or cold and maybe someone's walking away because of that maybe this is also a situation where someone walked away in the past and um, there's still time for uh, success. We'll see what else we get because there's a lot of messages that I see here. But I think the overwhelming theme to me is victory, success. So let's see what else we get for you, Sagittarius. What else for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for them regarding love? For Sagittarius. What previous messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love? What is coming their way in love spirit? What's coming their way in love? Okay, there you, wow, you first card out temperance reverse. There you are, Sagittarius, eight of cups reverse and the sun. The wheel of fortune reverse, death reverse, Scorpio energy and the ten of swords. And then bottom of the deck is the overall energy, the queen of swords, king of swords after that. So I feel like there, this is possibly clarity, this card then, purity, clarity and innocence, but the Queen of Swords, the Sun, I'm thinking clarity here. Something being seen very clearly, communicated clearly. Uh, the Eight of Cups is reversed, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. I'm sensing like, um, and the Death card is reversed, almost like a turnaround or something turning around, uh, something returning. But I mean, again, I feel like this, this energy is obviously an ending and success like they're they're together here this is kind of the i'm trying to figure out what the missing piece is and it doesn't really look that great when you see temperance here reverse with the wheel of fortune reverse that's things that are not balanced not working out not working together when you see death reverse and the ten of swords reverse it's almost like difficult endings endings that are slow to to happen um endings changes that have been delayed but i feel like for a lot of you i'm picking up this ending could have already happened or is very important for an ending to happen in the near future here for you because i think that's the reason that something's turning around so let's see what this is all about let's start with this queen of swords why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Eight of Wands. This could be communication. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Sagittarius? Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is communication. Um, this is the overall energy for you and this person or for love for you if for some reason you're single 
there's some sort of communication clarity that you're getting regarding love. That's the overall energy. Okay, so why is temperance reverse? This could also be that there's still time needed here for something to develop. Why is temperance reverse? Let's see what this is about. Nine of cups and the five of swords. Yeah, it's almost like someone hasn't, um, something hasn't been resolved. However, I feel like it will be with the nine of cups, the sun, this victory lap. I feel like there you might have gone through some sort of conflict in love recently that has blocked you from getting your wish granted. What's this eight of cups reverse? Why is the eight of cups reverse? Why is the eight of cups reverse? Five of cups. Why is the eight of cups reverse? The lovers, Gemini energy and the eight of swords. Hmm. Someone's having regrets is sad. Disappointed, Five of Cups, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, Partnerships, Choices. And the Eight of Swords. Well, one way to interpret this is that someone is regretful and wanting to return to their partner. But can't. with the Eight of Swords or feels fearful with the Eight of Swords. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups reverse? This could also be interpreted as someone that is unable to let the past go. They haven't been able to walk away from the past. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. Maybe the partnership was just too special. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, this is moving forward moving on moving towards success making a move of some sort i think that someone needs to um make some sort of a move here regarding the past so again i still get the message that someone could be moving um how do i say this um someone could be moving on from the past and having a difficult time doing it because of the connection or someone could still be returning i still see that page of pentacles is at the bottom so we'll see what else we get here tell me about the sun what is here the hierophant Taurus energy, contracts, commitments, doing things the right way, tradition, conformity. Why is the sun here? Three of cups, six of swords. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm starting to get this story that someone could be coming to visit you or coming to reunite with you, Sagittarius. Seven of Swords after that, and the Eight of Swords again. Look at all this sword energy. I think someone is maybe, maybe you're not expecting this person to stop by. Maybe they're sneaking away from someone else or something else that they've been stuck in. Maybe they're trying to be strategic about this imprisonment that they're experiencing with the Eight of Swords. For a small number of you, I feel like you're figuring out or realizing that there is a third party situation going on. And this was a uh, like clarity that you received regarding communication or the internet. That's for a small number of you. Can I get one more for the sun? Why is the sun here? King of Swords. Once again, I feel like um, some of you, and then there's the high priestess. Yeah, this is information. This is clarity about something that wasn't said, wasn't spoken. Someone could have been hiding, you know, or keeping their feelings to themselves. Uh, I'm still getting this energy of 
most of you dealing with a situation where someone could be returning that left. There was conflict between you, maybe time passed, maybe um, they want to talk things out. Others of you, I feel like you're wanting to walk away from something that ended, but it's just you're not there yet. Um, and for some reason, you're getting some sort of clarity. Let me see if I can get some insight on this Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Can I get one more for this Queen of Swords? Can I get one more for this Queen of Swords? The Emperor. Aries energy. So I feel like this is a masculine coming over to talk to you or wanting to clear the air with you, Sagittarius. Masculine energy. So let's look at this uh, Wheel of Fortune reverse, Death reverse, and the Ten of Swords. This is kind of what you can expect, how you can expect things to unfold in the near future. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? With Temperance reverse and the Wheel of Fortune reverse here, I'm thinking this could be a timing thing. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to work things out. Um, this could be somebody apologizing to you, declaring themselves to you, expressing their feelings to you with the intent of collaborating, working things out. Putting in some sort of effort or showing you some sort of effort. Tell me about Death Reverse. Why is death reverse? Ten of cups. Why is death reverse? Oh my God, I think that's the tower and something else. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my God, the tower and the wheel of fortune. <laughs> What in the world? This is huge. Whatever this is, death reverse is typically like something hasn't ended, is prevented from ending. There's a delay or block in an ending or a change. And here's the tower and the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is now upright because in this deck I only have uprights. Okay, so let me clarify the 10 of swords and then I'll kind of look at all of this together. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, Spirit. What do we need to know about the Ten of Swords? The world. Holy crap. These are big energies, huge energies. There's the Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. What do we need to know? Four of Swords. There's the Sun again. Okay. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, the message that I'm getting here with this Ten of Swords in the world is that no matter what happens, no matter if I'm speaking to a Sagittarius that has to have some sort of an ending in a partnership or a Sagittarius that perhaps is still affected by an ending that happened, no matter who you are in that in these scenarios, there is a new beginning attached to this ending, a new cycle. And I feel like this is being forced with the tower and the wheel of fortune. Someone is forcing this to happen or spirit is guiding this to happen, or there are just events that are happening regardless what someone wants or thinks or plans. <laughs> because especially with the wheel of fortune and the tower, I mean, towers are things that, um, they're very hard to avoid they're necessary, they have a purpose. Um, they're very difficult and uncomfortable, but they have a purpose. Um, and sometimes we can cause towers in our own lives or other people can obviously bring a tower um, and affect you know, the whole connection. But when it's with a wheel of fortune, I'm thinking about like an unstoppable tower. Uh, I'm thinking about a spiritual tower or something that is almost like destined, a destined tower. And for some reason, it's gonna bring about a 10 of cups, 
emotional fulfillment, satisfaction. Despite the fact that this is very difficult, towers aren't fun, not all the time. Sometimes they can be a good surprise, um, especially when you have these other two cards with them. It's almost like, wow, this is a, an, an unexpected in a good way. But most of the time people find it difficult. I think this tower, this Wheel of Fortune, this Ten of Cups is regarding some sort of ending that maybe hasn't fully happened or an ending that has been slow in, in, in happening, a change that's slow in happening. The Death card reverse could also be that someone's preventing or refusing to end or change something, um, which that could be the case that, no. you know, maybe that's why the Ten of Swords is here, almost as if to say there is no avoiding this. It's still going to happen. Someone could try to slow it down, but it's still going to happen. And this could be anything. This could be anything. I feel like it could be tied to this Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, some sort of message, because I have this theme of communication and clarity with a masculine energy. So maybe this is somebody coming forward to express themselves, and it's in a surprising way. Um, maybe this is, um, you know, maybe you are having some sort of ending in your life or they're having some sort of ending in their life, but it's allowing you to move forward into a new cycle because the three of cups is here. The lovers is here. So I'm getting almost like a reunion, a coming together, a partnership. Um, some of you, I still feel like there could have been a third party with this higher font energy, or perhaps someone wasn't able to step up to the plate and that caused friction or that caused problems in your connection. Um, and the reason I say that's because the King of Swords is here and the Queen of Swords is over here in the overall energy. So I feel like this clarity is about this down here and the sun is here. So I, when I see these two cards together, I think of clarity. I think that something is radiant, something is bright, something is unescapable. You can see it clearly and the light is shining on it. A very small number of you, I feel, are finding out about a third party or something that's happening with a third party energy. I think that one of you is regretting the past, thinking of the past as of right now. There's some sort of move that someone is making here um, with the chariot and the eight of cups reversed. This could be somebody returning. Um, if it's not someone returning, it's someone that's leaving a situation that was delayed in leaving, but now they're able to finally move. And I feel like this has been slow in developing with the temperance card reversed, the wheel of fortune reversed, whatever is happening in Sagittarius. I'm, I'm talking to a Sagittarius that there's been something that's been slowly developing or you already have been aware of it. And it's just been kind of an ongoing thing. Um, maybe there have been delays or obstacles within a sp specific connection. Maybe you've had a hard time with a past connection and there are now things that are happening that are changing things around for you in a, in a much better way. Let me see if I can get some clarity on this tower. Tell me about this tower energy spirit. Can I get one more please for this tower? Wow, four of wands. Uh, well, all you need to know is that this tower is for good. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world, please. The moon and the four of cups. Pisces energy here. I feel like um, a lot of you don't even know that this is happening or why this is happening. Maybe you don't realize that something is meant to happen or that this is for your own good or that this is leading somewhere great. Um, I feel like some of you perhaps were um, blinded to this or closed off to this. Maybe you just weren't able to see the bigger picture, but for some reason you're able to see it now um, that you see kind of this tower moment, Ten of Swords. It's an ending, I feel. Something has ended or is ending now, but this ending is bringing about a new beginning. That's just the the common theme here the, that keeps repeating. Let's get some insight into this person that you're dealing with. All right, for Sagittarius spirit. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Sagittarius and this connection? For Sagittarius spirit, what do we need to know about this person that you're thinking about connecting with? 
at this time? What do we need to know about this other person's energies? You are the only person for me. And bottom of the deck, I, pre I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I'm hurting. This could be somebody that's been, you know, a little bit in denial. Um, I don't think they've told you this. Um, they probably pretend that they haven't been affected well, by what's happened between you, but they clearly are. And um, for some reason, they're not able to get over you. I mean, you are the only person for me. It's very clear energy. It's almost like they don't see themselves with other people. They're not happy with other people. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, don't forget to check out the description box if you're curious about any uh, of my cards, my personal readings, all of that fun stuff is in there. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.